Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, this video is something a little bit different uh, than what you normally see from me. Uh, I'd say like 95% of the time um, you're seeing videos of me in the basement of Murtal, you know, lifting weights uh, or uh, seeing the adventures of Big T, you know, around town or something with the other critters in the house here. Um, this is actually something a little bit different. Um, Probably most of you don't know, um, back in the day, um, I guess like anybody, any kid my age in, you know, 80s, 90s, um, I was huge into sneakers, uh, especially Air Jordans. I um, was a huge fan of MJ, um, you know, always wanted whatever pair of sneakers came out of his, um, you know, of course, you know, couldn't afford it at the time uh, as a kid. So um, a couple years back, uh, maybe like two years ago, two, three years ago, uh, I was walking through a, uh, a Foot Locker, and uh, I happened to uh, just walk in there and stumble upon a, uh, a pair of uh, these uh, Jordan 3 uh, Retros, and um, I was kind of shocked that, you know, they, they even still made Jordans. Uh, I had no idea. Um, turns out that the Jordans now, I think, are bigger than they were when I was a kid. Um, every week, you know, Nike is putting out a, some kind of retro Jordan here or there. So uh, I ended up buying uh, those there, the uh, the retro threes. Um, and I actually had those as a kid. Um, and I remember wearing them so much that the, uh, the sole fell off. But um, I ended up buying a pair of those, the retro threes, and then happened to, was curious, one on eBay. And uh, next thing you know, I'm coming across shoes that, you know, I haven't seen in 30 years. And um, so two or three years later, uh, I think I'm up to about um, 17 or 18 pairs of Jordans. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, kind of walk you through what I have. Um, there's a couple of uh, <laughs> a couple of stories I have about a few of them. Um, and uh, why don't we take a look? So uh, this is actually um, the walk-in closet here, and uh, this is actually where I have uh, my collection stored, if you will. Um, like I said, I, uh, I I usually just buy what I like. Um, I usually just buy what's you know sentimental or you know things that I things that I liked as a kid or didn't get the chance to have. But um, I think my favorites are the earlier ones. Um, so these are the threes right here. Um, like I said, I have a couple different pairs of these. Uh, these are the uh, the uh, black cement threes that um, are very popular today. Um, this is actually a uh, a different one. This was actually a um, this is actually what the three was supposed to look like the design, um, but they end up going the other way with it. Uh, this is actually um, a retro three, and they call it the uh, Tinker Hatfield, which is. Uh, the man who actually designs uh, most of Jordan's sneakers. Uh, I don't know why I just really like this one. Uh, I actually wear this quite a bit. Um, I think it's just a really cool sneaker, and I, I like the colors. Um, the other favorites of mine are the fours. Um, I actually might like this style the best. Um, I just think it's a really cool-looking sneaker, uh, and I've always liked it ever since it came out uh, in the early 90s. Um, I'm sorry, the late 80s. Um, but this is the, uh, like I said, the Retro 4 uh, bread. Um, this one I actually really like as well. Uh, this actually, I don't want to call it my favorite, but uh, it's pretty close. Uh, this is actually the uh, the 4, um, Jordan 4 cement. Um, I just thought this was a, this is one of the original colorways of the shoe, and I just always thought it was really cool. Um, so then we get into uh, the 5s. Um, I don't have too many 5s. Um, I actually uh, do have one on the way, which is a special one. And um, another one is actually releasing at the end of March that I really want. Um, it's the uh, white one, fire red. But uh, this is actually a colorway that um, MJ played in. Um, I guess this is crazy enough. Um, this actually came out, this shoe came out in 1990. So we are on the 30th anniversary of this shoe. Um, the Jordan 5. So there are a lot of Jordan 5s releasing this year uh, in 2020. 
for the 30th anniversary. Um, like I said, I usually stick with the original colorways. Um, it's like it's usually just mostly bulls colors, red, black, grays. Um, sometimes, however, I will come across one that I think is kind of funky and I kind of like. Uh, this is actually a five as well. Um, they call this the uh, the Laney. Um, it's actually the colors of Michael Jordan's uh, high school. Um, I've only worn this shoe a few times, actually. Um, I don't really know if it's uh, my style, per se. Um, I, like I said, I stick more with like the blacks, the whites, the reds, the grays. Uh, but I kind of, when I first saw this come out, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, and I did buy it. Like I said, I, uh, I haven't worn it that much, but, uh, but I, did, I did have it apart. It is, is here. Um, then we get into the, uh, the Jordan 6s. Um, it's actually a funny story with these. Uh, I recently got these uh, maybe two weeks ago. Um, Back in 1991, when the 6s first came out, um, I desperately wanted these in 1991. And uh, my mom and I went down to um, the mall uh, to uh, Shank and Tittle, which I don't even know exists, if it exists anymore. And we put these on layaway. So I worked all summer to uh, get these sneakers, um, cut grass, did everything I could. Finally got the money, I think it was around August, to get these sneakers. And the day I walked in to pick these up, pay the final payment on them, they had just released these, which now they call these the uh, Jordan 6 Carmines. I don't think that's what they were called back in the day. I think they were just called Jordan 6s. So, of course, I had to do the, uh, oh, crap, which one do I want? Do I want this one, which just came out? And nobody had at the time because it came out, I believe it came out that day I walked in there. Uh, or the Black 6s. Well, I ended up going for the black sixes, and um, the sad part is is that I hit a growth spurt, and I think I was only able to wear those shoes for about two months, and my feet grew completely out of them. I think they sat in the closet for a while, and I think I ended up giving them to my my cousin. But um, anyway, a couple of weeks back, I happened to be on eBay, kind of looking around, and I came across a pair of these, and these are actually, from what I've been told, are really hard to find in good condition. So these were actually released in 2014, I believe. And I actually wear a size 14, so it's kind of hard to find some of the older ones. Um, so this actually came out in 2014, they re-released this. And um, it was in excellent condition. It's actually never was never worn. Uh, it was still had, uh, still in the original box and had plastic coating on it. The person put plastic coating on it. So it was uh, in perfect condition and um, I finally, after 30 years, got this sneaker, and I was pretty pumped about it. So, another style that I like is the uh, the Jordan 11s. Um, this one right here, this is the, uh, they call this one the uh, Jordan 11 Bread. Um, this shoe was huge at Christmas time. It released again at Christmas time. It was nuts. People were like fighting over it, and it was crazy. Uh, I was actually able to grab a pair of these on the uh, Nike.com, so uh, I didn't have to do too much um, scavenging for these. I uh, really like this pair. Uh, I think my favorite colorway, though, in this shoe might be these. This is, uh, they call these the Jordan 11 Concords, and it's a really simple colorway. It's nothing flashy, but I just, I don't know, I think I dig these more than. Than any of the 11 colorways um i just thought this was always a really cool shoe uh this was a colorway that jordan played in and um like i said i just i just i love this one I, I think it's a really cool sneaker um i don't like every single um silhouette that they make in jordan brand or what jordan's made over the years i actually stopped um this is actually a jordan 14 this is actually like the last year that i this is kind of where I stop. Um, all the ones 15 and I, there's actually 34 different styles now. Um, I will say this, the, uh, the 34 that just came out is really cool looking and I may have to get a pair of those, but, um, uh, I kind of stop at the 14s. Uh, this is another one I actually got recently too. I just thought this was really cool. This is a, uh, this is actually a Jordan, the Jordan 13 colorway. Um, just in the standard white and red, the, uh, they call this one the uh, Chicago. Uh, and this came out in 2017. I just thought this was really cool. Uh, 
Um, I love the colors. Uh, I, like I said, I have pretty simple taste. I don't really like a lot of flashy uh, things, but uh, flashy colors. So this was one that I saw that I really wanted to get. Um, so that's kind of just like a little bit of a peek into, into my, uh, what I have so far. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a vast collector. I don't have thousands of pairs, but, um, you know, like I said, the ones I do buy, I are sentimental to me. Um, ones that I didn't, wasn't able to have as a kid, uh, that I wanted to get, you know, as an adult, you know, when you have a little bit more, uh, disposable income, but, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like I said, I do have a few uh, this year that I want to grab. And um, hopefully I'll be lucky enough to get them because they are kind of hard to get um, for retail prices. Um, so you just kind of have to get lucky. So the uh, purpose of these videos uh, going forward, if I decide to keep going with them, um, basically just kind of giving everybody an insight into uh, what's going on with the... Uh, the Jordan shoes. Um, got uh, little Sam Hain here coming up here, getting in the video. Uh, just kind of giving everybody a little look at what's going on with the Jordan shoes. Um, I don't buy every single release that comes out. Like I said earlier in the video, every weekend Jordan's releasing, you know, <laughs> uh, several shoes. Um, you know, just the past weekend alone, I think they they released three or four. Um, so I only buy the ones that I really like. Um, I do actually wear the shoes that I buy. Um, several years back, um, I bought a pair of uh, I bought a pair of um, actually these here. They're not the same shoe. I bought a pair of uh, black retro four. Um, they call them breads, and um, bought them. Left them in the box, had them in the closet for I think four or five years and never touched them. I think that was like around 2012. Uh, never touched them for like four or five years. And um, one day uh, I was out playing basketball with my nephew and decided to pop and bring them out. And um, first time I made a move, they ripped. Uh, they completely ripped. The sole completely came off. So from that point on, I decided, you know what, if I'm going to buy them and spend the money on them, I'm going to wear them and enjoy them. Uh, anyway, this uh, video has kind of dragged on long enough. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody for uh, for watching. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know if I'll be, uh, I don't know if I'll keep going on with these going further. Um, I just thought um, it'd be interesting to uh, kind of share with you guys um, another interest of mine, other than uh, than working out uh, that I'm into. Um, also, thought it would be cool for uh, us kids of the '80s and the '90s um, to kind of go back a little bit. Uh, it's like I mentioned the. Uh, it, it blows my mind away that the Jordan 5 shoe is 30 years old. I mean, I vividly remember when that came out. Um, I remember a story where my parents and myself and even my relatives from the Pittsburgh area came down to visit. And we were at the Lancaster Nike outlet uh, out of Rockvale and uh, walked in and there was a pair of Jordan 5s there. Um, black tongue with the 23 and I just like went crazy over them had to have them um, I think we ended up leaving didn't get them and then uh, the next day after me begging and pleading with my parents we actually drove back out there the next day to get them so that was 30 years ago which just blows my mind away but anyway so again I thank you guys very much for your time I really appreciate it um, like I said, if I continue to do these videos, uh, I'll try to make sure that uh, we get some more appearances by some of the critters here. Um, we had Sam Hain, and uh, there was actually uh, Seamus was here too for a little bit. So, uh, But again, uh, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great day, um, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.